<laughs> We're here at our local Whole Foods, just minutes away from our shop in Rockville, to see our Men Usha docked on shelves for the first time. So let's take a gander. I'm gonna do a read aloud like you guys are in preschool. Summer recharge. We will be closed Tuesday, August 30th through Friday, September 2nd. We are closed to give our staff the opportunity to rest and enjoy time off. And that's a big cap because we're not doing no recharge, we're doing a rework. We're gonna be working this whole week and the past two days. We had a farmer's market in a restaurant. We put in like 30 hours over two days, four hours of sleep maybe. And here we are day in and night in. We'll be producing for our new Whole Foods Manish. So I'm here in the war room. We're about to start our first day of production. We're doing it all in one week and it required a lot of planning. One, we had to create the schedule of, you know, making the dough, producing, freezing, getting it to our frozen distributor before it eventually goes to Whole Foods. We had to figure a lot of things out around packaging, the right stickers, which have lot ID and tracking it to create the systems associated with that. There's a lot of different boxes that we have to get. Um, so sorting all that out, ordering everything in time, we had to sit down and really think it through, make sure we weren't scrambling at the last second, getting all the ingredients in time, getting all that prepped. So we got everything ready to go. And now we're just gonna start cranking these men at East hot and fresh just like you, you have them in your home soon. Just wanted to show you a little bit of how we transformed the restaurant into a production space. So this is, I mean, we're kind of used to this from being on the road at markets and stuff. We just set up, we got flow. Uh, these are the cake circles that our frozen men East will sit on. They go here to get packaged. This is new uh, display cases. They'll fold up. You'll see them later probably in the video to stand the men East so that you can see them in a nice way. After they go in the display cases, they'll go in the individual cases that will be sent to the distributor and then eventually on to Whole Foods. See the laptop thrown around, you kind of try to get on where you can. In our super luxurious office right now, trying to print off our batch ID and expiration date stickers to go on the back of the packaging, as well as uh, our other labels that's got to go on the outside of the boxes so the distributor can identify which product is in which box, of course. Let's see how sick these stickers are. Eventually, we'll look to have that automated and have these, you know, printed on the boxes themselves. But right now, we just don't got time to do, look into all that. And the same thing goes for the batch ID and expiration. Instead of having a hand sticker, those can be automatically printed. We'll figure that out later, though. With customers walking around grocery stores, you have like maybe two or three seconds to catch a consumer's attention. And when a product is behind either a fridge door or a freezer door, that creates another a barrier, another level. So we're here just mocking some things up uh, in Canva. We have, we have some skill, we use Adobe too, but this is just quicker and easier for this purpose. We are leaning towards this direction. It pops more, more visible. This is kind of uh, maybe too crowded. We have to sacrifice the logo which people may advise you against, but see if there's a way to squeeze it in. So I'm gonna talk you through our production schedule. I have to detail this out kind of by the hour to the minute, make sure we stay on track. And basically who needs Microsoft Excel when you excel with the Sharpies, am I right? We make the dough at night, auto lease, those are the batch sizes. We come back in the morning, we'll do the mix. After we do the mix, we set up everything. We're gonna basically prep the packaging, stick the labels, we're gonna get some box assembly going. And then after that, we'll start production. And production looks the exact same way you see it at a restaurant. Everything's hand stretched, made fresh. We're gonna look to crank out like 30 batches, sorry, 30 cases a day. Each case is about 12 minutes each. And we have three SKUs, so Zothar, the cocktail, and then the new meatless mushroom lahm biajin, meatless meat pie. And so basically we're gonna be doing like a day and a half of production for each of those to fulfill the anticipated order size. Then the next morning, we're gonna take them to our frozen distributor partner where they'll house them in their freezers until it's ready for pickup. We're producing right now like nine to five. So mama, look, we have a nine to five again. But then we come back at night to do all of our prep work for the next day. So that's gonna require either you know, shredding and mixing the, our cheese blend, getting the beautiful mushroom mix going, just doing some of the marketing prep that we're gonna to have to think about as soon as this is done. We will be living here this week, but it, we're super excited and can't wait to get this going. It's about 9 p.m. and the mama brought us dinner. Go take a picture of your dinner. You know, it's better than a chip <laughs> yeah, it's Thanks to mom. What? 
Okay. So now it's late night. It's our last duty of the day. We are auto leasing our batch for tomorrow morning. Daniel will come in around like four or something and uh, mix it. And then right after that, we'll get right into um, rolling the rest of the dough for that day so we can produce our many ish. That's a wrap from day one. It's 11.30. We never really said context, but we're here at our, our, our spot in Rockville. Um, headed home. No real lessons learned today. So Johnny started the auto lease with the dough last night. Came in early this morning to do the mix. I already have the yeast and sugar going in here. Now I'm gonna start gradually adding in the salt. We'll alternate with water. And if you learn one thing from this video, and one thing only, is that delayed salt addition improves gluten development. But seriously, every little detail matters, so we, we really pay attention to make this as good as possible. And then after we're done, Mixing, you'll see the batch I made already. We cut it into more manual pieces there on our dough table. We'll go through multiple rounds of stretching and folding. That just really helps improve that structure, gives it a nice pillowy feel that you've all come to know and love. And this is uh, what makes our dough so special, is uh, we don't take any shortcuts. Give it a nice tuck from each way. And we'll just continue working our way down here. Another round, and then these guys will go to rest to bulk ferment until we ball them up and they start becoming, growing up into menusha. Today we're making our meatless meat pie or the mushroom-based version of the lahambi ajin. So obviously we always try to honor the traditional foods and share those with people. But we wanted to do the lahambi ajin in a way that everyone can enjoy. So after testing for like years of different ingredients and different processes, we think we got the perfect down it's mushroom based with kind of meat like consistency and all the usual classics tomatoes parsley onions a wonderful spice blend oil palm molasses it really brings out that delicious lahem biajin experience without the lahem we just kicked off our first production this will be the first manusha that goes to whole foods and show you our assembly line like i told you fresh off the saj it's going to move down the unit get topped with the topping Cool. and it'll be taken out outside where Johnny will show you for the uh, packaging area. This is our dough process going on the sides. We got a soft and fluffy top and then we try to get like a slight crisp to the bottom of it. It's your time to shine, buddy. What, what do you want to say? All right. What are we doing? We are spreading the meatless mushroom on a flatbread manusha. So delicious, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> are now sealed in their packaging in the display case that will sit on the retail shelf. So we're going to place them in our shipper box. Bit. We get a keep frozen sticker on top and then on the sides is our identifier, the barcode that you guys have kind of seen. We can put one on each side. Just dropped Danny off at the shop. Now I'm headed to our warehouse. It's like 10 minutes away from here to get some packaging and some other stuff for our productions today. All right, this is our first delivery to the frozen center. It's gonna stay here. We're gonna keep sending pallets here till we have enough ready for the order and then the distributor will pick it up from here. All right, so when I was weighing everything out Sunday night at the end of a 16 hour day, I forgot to uh, use the normal sheet we use for our dough and I did not put enough yeast and we thought there was enough time it rise but when we cooked it it's just not as good as we like our bread to be so we are scrapping that batch I'm quickly making a new one and the train rolls on but you know it's got to be the best or it's not for us as you know we are closed this week but we are opening back up this weekend Saturday and Sunday so just taking a quick break while I can to order produce and goods for the shop. It's about 5.30, we're on a little break waiting for our dough balls to rise so we can go back and make more mini-ish. 
I'm a sucker for super meditative sounds like rain, waterfalls, etc. And there's a super beautiful one right here. So let me give you an up close and personal. It's like a mini Niagara Falls. Hope you enjoyed those 12 seconds of peace. Cause I sure did. We're done producing for today. I'm here at my standing desk. You don't need to buy one from Costco or any Amazon. Uh, so we're just on Slack setting some updates. Also uh, just printed. Um, well, I don't want I don't want to seem like we use Slack even though we do because it seems so corporate. But we use it. It's very helpful. It's Thursday morning. We got our lovely men each here. We're in Hyatt's boat about to go load our men each into their. Big old freezers here. <laughs> the key to Goodman Ushe is a high quality, delicious olive oil, and we just got our delivery in. Uh, olive oil from Tunisia. Yeah, thank you. Oh, so <laughs> so happy. It's a good, it's one of the ingredients. It's, it's one of the best. It's very oh. pure and smooth and oh, pairs wow. super well with this olive. Well, thank you. Minutiae's are delicious. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> it's Friday morning. About to start our routine of going to Hyattsville to drop off our frozen. And we got our cardamom here because we're making the creamer for our cardamom cold brew latte. It smells like cardamom. I was going to say heaven, but literally smells like cardamom. While we got the cardamom boiling, steeping in there, we're gonna make the cold brew portion of it. We're transitioning to this sort of hybrid uh, model as part production space while still continuing to operate as a restaurant. That takes us uh, some logistical challenges. So I'm figuring out what we need to kind of complete this order and stay on track for future orders while also making it a new and more efficient uh, prep schedule for the shop. So we make sure everything is still always ready and we can kind of schedule and get through everything in an efficient way. Right now we're on a call with our brother Ronnie in New Jersey, uh, just kind of strategizing and brainstorming our promo plan for when Frozen launches in Whole Foods. Schedule has been super out of whack this week. So we're here on a Saturday at 2 a.m. to start making the dough uh, and then doing some prep work to get ready for opening. It's our first day back since uh, last Sunday, so good, good six days or so. Let's see if we remember how to talk to customers. We have a tomb recipe and it always works, but for some reason last night I tried three different times and I couldn't get it to go, probably from being stupid. Uh, so we called in for being exhausted. Uh, our mom, the OG tomb maker to help try to rescue this emergency situation. <laughs> what? What? How are you going to fix it? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> That's my secret. Should we talk Hello. Ah. Heading out to the frozen facility today. We've got a new driver. Spotless driving. Good morning. He rides gloves, keep his little hands uh, safe. We're gonna go unload another shipment. We officially got the uh, the order late last night, so it's exciting that we kind of anticipated the right amount of volume and the timing. So we're on schedule. There's this little furniture vintage store 
So we're gonna hop in real quick, so just right around the corner. So right after we started producing for this order, we got some very exciting news, and that is that we were selected as one of the 50 best new restaurants in the country by Bon Appetit magazine. Super exciting news. We were pumped. It was exactly when we went out of this place, uh, but it just meant we got busier and busier, and that was <laughs> a crazy month. All right, I'm walking to the Whole Foods regional office. Uh, they asked us to come by, introduce ourselves to the leadership team, tell us a bit, tell them a little bit about ZNZ, what we're doing and how we're excited to get started. And tomorrow we'll be back to meet with 150 sales associates who have been, always been very helpful for us. So we're bringing in a bunch of fresh Zotham and each for them to try and get to meet them in person, which will be really great. So here we go, wish me luck. Back today at the regional offices to do another kind of like meet and greet with some of the Whole Foods associates around the region. And we're bringing them in each. Not getting any footage, but it's presented in front of about 150 people at Whole Foods with Johnny. Quick, sharp, same presentation as yesterday, luckily. So nice and smooth. Uh, I think everyone is really excited for us and uh, we're excited to, to get started with them. Uh, the distributor's coming soon, currently in Hyattsville, to help facilitate the pickup. Waiting for the distributor, just coming to the cafe to do some work. Thank you. 